Hi everybody, it's David Weinstein, director of Tell Yehuda, my dog Bobka here in New Jersey. I know most of you from last summer and summer before, some of you I know your entire lives, and a whole bunch of you I haven't even met yet. Since we left camp last summer, we've been working really hard trying to make this summer amazing. We've been hiring great staff from around the world, bringing more campers from around the world to camp, and just getting our programs and our trips ready for a great summer. And then a few months ago, as you all know, got hit by this pandemic, and we've all just been suffering through it for months now of uncertainty, not knowing what's gonna happen. And we've been trying to figure out how to make camp happen, how to bring everybody together, how to bring everybody together up at camp this summer and to create our community in a safe way. And unfortunately, it's just become clear in the last few weeks that we just can't do it. We can't do it safely. And we won't do anything that's not gonna be safe for everybody, for you and for our staff. And so this summer, we're not gonna to be together in Barryville. While this news might not be a total surprise, I know it's devastating. In just a few weeks, we were supposed to be together as a community in our home in Barryville. Unfortunately, the current guidelines and realities in our area of New York State just don't allow a path for us to open camp this summer legally and safely. And I'm so very sorry. This summer belonged to you, and it breaks my heart that we won't be together at TY. Every summer before you guys get to camp, I tell the staff the same thing as we're preparing for your arrival. I tell them that in homes all across the world, there are teens who have been counting the moments for school to end to get back to their home at TY or to come for the first time. I tell the staff that they know how many days and even how many hours till they'll be once again coming down that steep hill in Olive to be with their oldest friends and to meet their newest ones. We know you come to TY to dance on Saturday night in the dirt, to go kayaking, biking, hiking, to Gimel, to New York City, Niagara Falls, and Washington, D.C., to sit under a tree on Shabbat or an Eno when you're supposed to be at a pula, to sing along with No Wilker or Rami Carmel at the top of your lungs, to plan a July 4th jailbreak that actually works, to welcome Shabbat in front of the Delaware River and to end Shabbat stomping on the benches, to win or lose Maccabia, to be amazed at the number of Mediterranean bars each Saturday night, to make up bagel cheers and hope I don't get too irritated by them, to have amazing madrachim who you can really talk to and relate to, to connect to Israel through our Israeli staff and Israeli culture, to do every hand motion in the Birkat zone, and to live unapolog unapologetically Jewish, to live in and build a teen-only community of people who care about you and share your values, to live within the stunning beauty of TY, to consider new ideas and new skills, to become leaders, and yeah, to change the world by being the change we want to see in the world. And most importantly, to truly live with some of the people you love the most in the world. If you were coming back at TY for any or all of these reasons, I'm sorry that they will remain our collective amazing memories for now until we're together again. And if this was to be your first summer at TY, Thank you for choosing to continue the Young Judea journey after your summers at CYJ Texas or Sprout Lake or Midwest or Camp Judea, or to start your journey this summer with us. I look forward to meeting all of you in the future in Barryville and making new memories together. At some point this summer, I'll go up to camp and walk around in the quiet. Maybe there'll be a few geese there. It'll be peaceful, but it won't be TY. It never is until you get there. The mission and traditions of Tel Yehuda, which have existed since 1948, will live on in the future. But this summer, we'll have to find new ways to connect. And you'll hear more about those in the coming days. It won't be camp, but if we have to be physically distant, we refuse to be socially distanced as well. We are a community. I'm so deeply grateful to be part of this community. I'm sad that this summer I won't spend with all of you. And I know. It's not even half as sad as you are. Please be in touch if you need anything. The staff of TY will be here for you. Bob and I will see you next summer up at camp. Maybe as campers or maybe you'll be on a trip on your way to Israel or as staff. But we will see you again. And now a few words and something special from my good friend and our director of operations, Noah Wilker. For over 25 years, I've spent my summers at Camp Tell Yehuda. And um, I 
always tell people that there's a magic to camp. And that magic lives in the people that come through the gates. Whether you're a camper or a staff member. It's in the community that we create. And um, it's in the home that we build in Barryville every summer. There's a song that I've been singing for years that has become part of the soundtrack for so many summers and so many people. And it's a song about home. It's a song that reminds us that no matter where we are, no matter how far we go, no matter what adventures life throws our way, you can always go back home. And for now, we need to stay safe and be healthy so we can all come back home next year and for many years to come. I cannot wait for the day that I get to play music for everyone again, live up at camp under the stars, you know. Everyone's singing loud, making a ruckus, maybe waking some neighbors. Um, we just need to be patient to get there. But we're gonna get back there. We're gonna get back home and we're gonna get back to that magic. For now, on behalf of the entire Tell Yehuda team, we'd like to thank everyone who's been part of this amazing legacy of Camp Tell Yehuda for over seven decades. You know, it's through your love and your connection and your support that's going to keep us around for decades to come, bringing that magic to so many more people, bringing that experience to everyone who wants to share in it. So thank you so much, and um, everyone just stay safe and stay healthy. Yes, I'd like to visit the moon On a rocket ship high in the Yes, I'd like to visit the moon But I don't think I'd like to live there I'd look on down on this earth from above And I'll see all the people in places I love And although I may visit for one afternoon I don't want to live on the moon I'd like to travel under the sea And meet all the fish everywhere Yes, I'd like to visit the sea But I don't think I'd like to live there I'd stay for a day there if I had my wish But there's not much to do when your friends are all fish an oyster or a clam or a true family So I don't want to live in the sea I'd visit the jungle, hear the lions roar And I would go back in time and meet a dinosaur There's so many strange places that I'd like to be but none of them permanently So if I should visit the moon I'd dance on a moonbeam And then make a wish on a star And have it carry me home once again I'd look on down on this earth from above and I 
See all the people and places I love And although I may visit I'll be coming home soon I don't wanna live 